So one thing I learned in the process, though, is that our, our friend Direwolf, Elodie and I have been having a back conversation about Direwolf. Direwolf, like your, your hardware TNC has, it's a one trick pony. It does one decode of one type of language and that's it. Right. And Direwolf will do nine separate decodes per packet that it receives. It, it hears something, nine decodes run. One of these is going to get that message. And your hardware TNC from the 90s is like, I thought I heard something and it was gone. So, right. Your chances of making a successful communication with a modern TNC, a direwolf based TNC, are much higher. And they're also much higher if you don't, you know, operate from Southern Arizona where there is nobody nearby. So, yeah, in right. order to in order to declare success on the project, I had to set up a second two meter packet station and talk to myself, and it was it was lovely. It was we agreed. A delightful. Like pretty much everything. Yeah, we and it was amazing. He had, he had the same health problems you do. Oh, we didn't talk about health. I'm not of I'm not of a certain age where that's you know <laughs> occupying most of my ham airwaves. So direwolf. And I didn't know that it did multiple decodes, so it does more than just yeah. APRS. Okay. Yeah. KM6LYW was helping me out. And if you guys haven't been to digipi, D-I-G-I-P-I dot org, um, he's got a nice little software package that runs on a Pi, and you access it from a web browser. And once you do the initial, like, I have this radio, these are my GPS coordinates, this is my sound interface, every piece of software for digital modes is set up. Done. Winlink, done. FT8 done direwolf aprs yeah. done 